It's just almost like levitating. And at the table, the flowers are in front of you, but it doesn't obstruct because you could look overhead, but then it has that transparency underneath, which is really cool. Also, on the banquet table, it doesn't get in the way of things like salt and pepper shakers and stuff that they have to have on the table on either side. It runs purely on so that it's, it just sort of powers up just on its own out of the pot. But what I do, like I kind of filled it like this, right? So now I'm going to take this and I take, this is what I do, like that. This is all I do. Of course, this should be wet. So that it's solid. You know, the interesting thing is, um, we've all made the Christmas tree with foam and boxwood. And I, you have to have a piece of plastic because when you put the next piece in, you don't want all the water from this draining all the way down and through. Because what happens is, this will have water, but this will be totally drained, and the next one will be also totally drained, and so the top two bricks are going to be just bone dry before you know it. And this one would be wet, but the water will be spilling out because all of it has drained through. If you have a piece of plastic here, it stops the draining within each brick. So they stay wet longer. I mean, it just, it's, it's, Unbelievable what a difference it makes. And then what I do is I just tape the heck out of it. I don't care if it looks beautiful. I used to make beautiful mechanics that looks so gorgeous that I didn't want to cover it up. But you know what? That takes kind of tedious time and I got, got over that one. But I just tape the heck out of it. Take the regular, you know, the pot tape and just tape it so it's solid. And then what I do is cover it with wool. This is the one that I like the most because it's Ha, ha, ha.